Yo, what is going on, you guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today, I'm bringing you guys another post Dune replay, and I am playing once again, playing Dragon Link, of course. Uh, it's just what I've been on recently. My opponent is on Unchained Labyrinth. This deck has been getting a lot of popularity recently, and it's pretty good with the new support. So, I start off by going main phase, Lubelion, search for Magma, and then I drew Beast. Beast is glued to my hand. I went to locals yesterday too. Bro, uh, Abs Router and Field Spell glued to my hand, bro. Just glued. Uh, so I go Chaos Space here for Black Dragon. And then we Banish out Safer for Black. Summon Striker. Black Chain Link 1, Striker Chain Link 2. Uh, before we get any further, though, if you guys could drop a like on the video, greatly appreciate it. Greatly helps with the channel. Forgot to say that before we hopped into this game. But this is a pretty good game right here. So we search for White, and then we search for Field Spell. And then we Banish Black, Summon White, Chaos Space, put back Black, draw one. Draw an Imperm, which is pretty good. And then from here, I turn those two into Romulus, of course. Romulus effect chain link one, white dragon chain link two. So search for black, free discard, search for ravine. Chaos space and baby dragons is so good. I'm going to say it every time, bro. It feels like you're cheating, bro. It literally feels like you're cheating. Um, so I go ravine, send abs router effect, search for tracers, get the rocket engine going there. So, so nice. So, so nice. So from here... We go Boot Sector Launch, Special, Special Summon Tracer, and then we go Magma Effect, Target. Maybe I should have did the Magma first. I think I'm playing into Nib regardless, though, so it doesn't matter. Uh, we make Disc Patter, and then Disc Patter Effect, bring back the Safer. And then we tribute off the Disc Patter for a Lubelion, Lubelion Effect to place Branded Regain face up. Already have the trap, so didn't need to go for like the Soranir. You can do like Soranir, Sun Beast. I mean, you guys know that, but we tribute off and then we turn those two into Triple Burst and then Pisty Reborn, Reborn Tracer. And then Tracer Effect, Pop Field Spell, Summon Recharger, and then turn all of those into uh, Borland and then Savage Borland, Negate Recharger, turn those two into Savage and then Savage Effect to equip. I saw him looking in the extra deck and I was like, Super Poly go crazy, don't it? Um, so he's going to chain to Savage, the Stovey, discard itself in Shayama to go ahead and set. So set Big Welcome there, place Triple Burst. Um, then I go Safer Banish, add back Lubelion, and then regain, draw, regain, put Safer back, draw one. So crazy follow-up and crazy interruptions. We set Branded Beast, set Imperm, and we pass turn here. Uh, end phase, of course, we search for Druid Swarm. So he draws big welcome, which, and then I'm lagging out. I come back in the game. And I say, he say, you good? And I said, yeah, yeah, crash, crash. Uh, so he goes normal summon Rikea, and then he uses this effect. This card is in your graveyard. You can target one feed monster or face down card you control, destroy it. And if you do, special summon this card. I'll place it on the bottom of the deck when it leaves the field. So target the Rikea to destroy it. I'm still not the most familiar with this deck. So the interruptions was kind of iffy, to be honest. Um, so he's going to go Rikea effect to special from deck. He's going to special summon out Unchained Soul of Disaster, the dog that links with my stuff. So he's going to use it, target the Savage to try to link with it, and I just Boral Negate that. You can't respawn. Maybe I should have used Imperm, but I don't know. You guys let me know what's better right there. So then he goes Aruha, target the set, pop it, and he doesn't chain it because he wants to use the effect to bounce because he has a level eight or higher fiend the dog is a level eight fiend so he does have that so he's gonna go shayama effect target itself and he would destroy a back row in that card and then it was something from deck so i was like nah let's not do that so i just go ahead and imprim that and then he's gonna go big welcome target borland which i don't know like it might just be because he's like re really pressed on like how to out this card like maybe it's really tough for him to out this card i'm not sure but I don't know why you wouldn't go for the Savage there. Like, Savage is crazy. I still have a negate with it. And then I'm going to have a negate with it next turn if you can't out it. Um, but, like I said, he might just not be able to out the Boraland. And then, like, Boraland, if he tries to end on a link or something, I can, like, draw phase negate. Because uh, I'm pretty sure they're only main phase. And they can't respond anyway. So, uh, he's going to go Stovey effect there after he bounces. I'm going to change Ruiz for him target Stovey. So summon out, and then I'm going to go regain effect, put back, draw. Uh, keep in mind, we still have the disc pattern in the graveyard to bring out whenever we want. I've just been holding it. So he turns those two into the Yama, and then Yama effect right here. I should have just Savage negated this, uh, but I let him add, which was a mistake. Because I was like, yeah, sure, uh, add whatever. 
So he adds Shervara. And then he goes like Shervara target a Ruha to pop. And then I'm like, oh, okay. I just Savage Negate, um, which is obviously a misplay. Like I just gave him the card for no reason. If I get, if I negate the link, he just is down an extra card. So that was definitely a misplay. He goes into Anguish there. And then I go regained effect, summon back this pattern. This one isn't a quick effect or anything. Um, so from here, he goes uh, the link three, Anguisher effect, target the dispatter to try to link with it. And then I negate by putting back his big welcome. And then he just goes battle phase, attack over. And once it's once you go battle phase, attack over, I know it's GG. I know it's GG. Uh, so pass, I draw black metal, and then I go quick launch. And I have a negate with Savage again. I have a destroy with this patter. Sadly, I don't have another negate, but it's fine. So quick launch for Tracer, and this threatens Floor right here. And Druid Swarm is really nice in this matchup because I can target this and send it to Grave, not destroy. So it won't get its effect when it's destroyed. So that's really good. Um, so here he's going to go Sharvara effect, target the link to destroy it. Um, and then I do just Savage negate that. I'm like, okay, no, because this doesn't do anything on field. So he's trying to get some plays going with this. So I'm just like, no, 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 don't do that. So he's going to go Terrors of the Overroot, target the Dispatter and the Recharger to send to the graveyard and set. Um, so here I chain the Brandon Beast, tribute the Dispatter, and pop the Terrors of the Overroot. I didn't pop this set because I'm scared that they're like, it, it's kind of weird, right? Like, I don't know if this is a Labyrinth card that I want to pop or is this a Unchained Trap card that would, I'm just going to get punished if I pop it. It's going to do more harm than help. So it's a weird it's a weird spot to try to figure out you know what you want to pop. But I had the immediate excuse me synchro into floor. So whatever this was, if I go for floor next my, as my next move, I can just negate it or whatever it is. Like he used this. This is an interruption. This is the only card I'm dealing with right now. So I'm cool with that. And then drew a swarm, target the anguish, send it. Then Lubelion, search magma, summon magma, battle phase, tag, GG. So going on into the next game here, we're gonna see Ermong. The Labyrinth Unchained player decide to go first. I open up Chaos Space, Ball Drake, Abs Router, Abyss Steel Lebellion, and Boot Sector Launch. I'm telling you, it was glued yesterday, bro. Um, the opponent opens up Big Welcome, Lovely, Sharvara, Chandrelier, and Ari. So he's going to start with Normal Summon Ariana Effect. And that's going to search for the Ku Clock. I kind of like this. And like his, his deck was kind of nice. I ain't even going to lie. Like, if I went second right there, I think I lose this match. But he's going to go Ku Clock Effect and then Chandrelier discard itself and late, uh, lovely. Yeah, discard itself and lovely to set Welcome Labyrinth. The fact that he set Welcome Labyrinth, like, I'm kind of reading that he has the big welcome. Uh, so he's going to go Ku Clock Effect to add itself back to hand or special. And then I say that that's good. Yeah, I don't have a response to that just yet. That's fine. He special summons it. And then he goes Sharvara effect, target the Ku Clock, pop, special. So destroy the Ku Clock, special summon out the Sharvara, and then turn those two into the Unchained Soul Lord of Yama. So turn those two into Yama, and then Yama effect to add a uh, Unchained monster, and then this Chainlink 2 to set a trap, Unchained trap directly from deck. So he's going to go ahead and set escape. Or, yeah, he's going to set Escape, which is target an Unchained Monster you control and one card on the field, destroy both. So this is a nice little pop right here. That's, a, that's I think that's their best trap probably, right? Uh, he's going to go Aruha, target, pop, and then effect, special summon from deck. And I say, yep, that's good. So off the trap, he brings out Rikea, and then Rikea effect, pop the Aruha, bring out the Shayama. And then he's going to turn those two into the Unsoul Rage. So then he's going to go Shayama, target Rikea, pop the Rikea, special summon itself out. And then Rikea effect, summon the other level six. So I see here that he's going for the DDD setup. And that is a double monster negate. So double bestial negate, not once per turn. So I say think here. So once he gets the two level six bodies out on the field, I go Ball Drake. And then he asked me for the target, right? So the DDD thing is only 26 or 2400. Um, so Baldrick just, or any Biz deal, matter of fact, just beats over that. So you like just summon it before they summon. And then he asked for targets. So right here is very important that I was remembered earlier in the turn. He set the Welcome Labyrinth off of the Chandrelier. So I am pretty sure that this is Big Welcome. And he's like trying to save it to dodge my bestial effect like if i target the lovely because it's very tempting to go for lovely ku clock chandrelier here very very tempting like i thought about it but i was like if that's big welcome i just get punished he makes the ddd and then 
the DDD kind of kind of cooks this deck. I'm not gonna lie, like it puts in a little bit of work. So I do end up just targeting the link because it has a graveyard effect that can do some stuff. So I target the link so that he can't like dodge the bestial. Um, because if I target like lovely or something, you just change big welcome, summon lovely from grave, bounce back, effect pop. Um, so I summon Baldrake here. And then on resolution, he does have the big welcome, big welcome effect to summon, summon back the lovely from graveyard, bounce back the Sharvara, and then effect to rip, effect to add back. Okay, so he's going to add back Chandrelier. So he like pivots from the level 6 DDD back into the Labyrinth stuff, which is pretty cool. Um, so right here, I was praying and hoping and praying that he was hitting the Abs route out of the hand, but he hits the Biz Steel, which is tough. And then goes into Anguish, Anguish Effect, Target Baldrick, turn those two into Unchained Soul Rage. And then Lady Effect to reset the escape there. Okay, so reset escape with the pop is pretty good. I draw Recharger. And it's pretty tough starting with four cards. Uh, I'm going to go Chaos Space, discard Abzerouter, search for Bistial, Lubelion. And then we go Abzerouter Effect to go ahead and add to hand Tracer. So we search for Tracer there, and then Bistial Lubelion Effect to go ahead and search. We search for Druus Worm. Um, I thought about grabbing Magma. Probably should have just grabbed Magma, but it is what it is. Um, we're going to go Druus Worm, target, banish. Summon Druid Swarm, and then on summon he's going to go Big Welcome, bounce back, and then Lovely Effect to rip a card from hand. And then he hits the Tracer, which is fine, I guess. And then I'm going to go Chaos Space, put back the Lubelion, and draw one. Draw an Imperm there, which is like, eh, kind of mid, not going to lie. I think I, I, yeah, I do Imperm the Rage, okay. And then I activate Boot, which is a misplay. Um, I should have normal summon recharger and went for the striker dragon and then I can bring back from grave two. Well, I would actually only be able to bring back from grave one actually. Uh, but I think the, the play was to just like normal summon recharger, hope he like pops it or tries to do something with the, with the one. Like if I normal summon recharger, uh, hopefully he like tries to pop or something, and then I have the fields pull in hand, so I could just summon back two from grave. But at this point, he's like pretty far ahead, so I do end up scooping shortly here. He summons lady to the field, and then on res, he has anything chandelier discard, Travara effect to set, set big welcome, Ku clock add back, and yeah, I was like, yeah, that's a little too much. I kind of misplayed right there, so. On to game number three, I'm going first. I open up Magma, Ash, Magma, Chaos Space, Safer. Crazy hand. Opponent opens up Tackle Crusader, Stovey Torby, Lovely, Game of Seal, and Radiant Kaiju. I go main phase one, Chaos Space, discard Magma, search Lubelion. And then from here, Lubelion effect, search for Seronir. Okay. And then I go Magma effect, target the other Magma, banish, summon, Magma effect to search during end phase. Tribute off for Lubelion. Lubelion effect doing this early for Nib. Like, just in case he had Nib, I want to get this set up. Because if you can set a uh, regain before you get hit with Nib, it's nice. Because you get an extra body back on the field. It just helps you play through it more. If you have Seal, you can just keep extending. Uh, so on summon of Lubelion, he's going to go Stovey Torby effect, discard itself, and Tackle Crusader to go ahead and set. And then Tackle Crusader effect to set my card. Pretty cute, pretty cute. Um, and then I go normal summon safer, still have full combo, baby. Let's go. Uh, so search for the white dragon and then banish out magma, summon out white dragon, turn that into striker. And then we go white dragon effect, chain link one, striker, chain link two, search for boot, search for black. And then we banish out the white for the black, special, chaos space, put back, draw. So crazy. I'm cheating right now. Draw safer, turn those two into Romulus. Romulus chain link one, black dragon chain link two, search for white, search for ravine. Just going crazy with it. And then ravine, discard white, send abs router, abs router, search tracer. Now we have everything. Boot summon, turn that into pisty, seronir effect, target the stovey, banish it, summon, turn those two into triple burst. And then seronir, send the other bestial lubelion to grave there. And then we can go pisty effect, bring back tracer, tracer effect, pop field spell. Uh, summon out recharger and then turn those two all those into a Boraland, Boraland dragon target negate summon back tracer savage you guys seen this before savage effect to equip triple burst three negates 4200 safer add back lubelion sauce sauce walking 
uh, I passed her and I say, sec, wait, no, magma. Sorry, bro. Wait, magma, magma, magma. Uh, so we go ahead and grab Baldrake there because Baldrake could actually tribute the set Lubelion to, you know, have a little interruption there. Uh, banish a special summon monster, or monster from the extra deck, not special summon monster, my bad. So he's going to go Gamma Seal over the Boreland Dragon, which is fine. Summon out Radian, and I'm tweaking right there. I don't know why I sent that to Grave. Don't, don't worry about me, bro. You didn't see nothing, bro. Uh, Unchained to Ruha, target the set to pop. And then here I go Ball Drake Chain, target Abs Router, Chain Big Welcome, Chain Ash. Sauce. Let's go. So if he tries to go for a Link player right here, we tribute Banish. Uh, he's down to three cards. Uh, end of main. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Uh, so he's going to go Radiant, attack over. I take some damage. Sure. Battle, attack, effect to go ahead and special summon from deck. Savage negates activation. So I can do a dirt damage step, negate. And he says Ash Blossom was too much. GG, GG. Wait, he did activate. He did activate. Uh, you can. Oh, this is lovely. This isn't even Lady. Ooh, I thought this was Lady. I was like, wait, you could summon. Nah, yeah, you, you can't do anything. That was GG's. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, the Unchained Labyrinth deck, I think it's pretty cool. It gives a, a Labyrinth like an extra little push. Um, I don't know if Labyrinth necessarily needed the push, but I mean... It's cool, I guess it synergizes because they're fiends. There's some cool stuff you can do. You can turn your labyrinth monsters into your unchained engine, which is pretty cool because the link just takes two fiends. So that's pretty nice. Um, but yeah, I think the deck is cool overall. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to be trying to get more and more replays for you guys. Maybe even do a little double upload today. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. It's going to do it for this one. I'm out.